Wow. It's huge. So this is Oroch's fort. One of the Kreutzen Provincial Army's premier bases. Not how I was expecting it to look. They modified an older fort. A lot. Is something wrong, Eusis? No, not at all. Let's go and give our report on the monster we defeated. Pretty heavily armored ones at that. Those are the latest models from the Reinford Company. They're called Oxen. Uh, how? Come on. We have things to do. Gosh, why does he have to be so... Ah! He's right, though. We really should keep moving. Yeah. Who goes there? Wait, aren't those uniforms? We're members of Thor's Military Academy, Class 7. We completed a monster extermination task on your behalf and have come to give our report. Oh, so you're the ones. We've been expecting you. You'll forgive my curtness. We just didn't think you'd have someone so young with you as well. <laughs> um, so we were able to defeat the monster in question. Do you require a written report, or is verbal confirmation okay? Oh no, that's fine. You were really able to beat that thing, though? Somehow or another, yes. It wasn't easy, but we managed. Huh, not bad. Not bad at all. We probably should have taken care of it ourselves, but it was a pretty dexterous thing, so we just kind of let it be. It wasn't tough enough to cause any of us any harm, as long as we were in our armored cars when we encountered it. But still, it took a bit of convincing for us to ask a group of students to fight it, as you might imagine. I can understand that. <laughs> well, it provided a good opportunity for us to test our skills. Hmm? Huh? Wait. Oh! Lord Eusis, what brings you... Ah, th that uniform... Are you...? Correct. I've returned to Bereahard as part of a field study for the Academy. I'm here as a student, not as a member of the Alborea household. Please treat me accordingly, the same as you would my classmates. Uh, as you wish. As you wish, Lord Eusis. Wow. <laughs> Looks like even the Provincial Army will miss the chance to bend over backwards for him. I would like to know, however, about the contents of that train that just passed by here. Ah, you saw it? Our Provincial Army has finally started getting supplied with tanks. Isn't it exciting? Armored cars can't hope to compete with tanks in terms of firepower, after all. And we can't let the Imperial Army be stronger than us forever. I see. The fort also appears to have been fortified quite significantly. Ah, yes. Some rather sizable construction work was carried out just last month. It'll take more than a little cannon fire to damage these walls now. Our anti-air defenses are going to be strengthened in the near future, too. This should soon become a fort we soldiers of the Kreutzen province can truly be proud of. You can count on that. I will. And with that, I believe we are done here. We should take our leave. Okay. It is almost evening, after all. Roger that.
Wait. What is the meaning of this? Machias? <sighs> if we were on the border with Crossbell or the Republic, maybe I could understand. But why does the Provincial Army here need state-of-the-art tanks? Not to mention anti-air defenses and countless other fortifications. It's utter madness! Machias... He makes a good point. Can you truly be so ignorant? This is the reality of the present situation within the Empire. Tensions between Osborne's reformist faction and our noble faction grow worse by the day. Though admittedly, it's been happening mostly under the surface, away from the eyes of the general populace. But this is just one of the many ways that conflict is manifesting itself. I'd heard rumors, but... No doubt my father was the one who ordered these fortifications. I have no intention of giving any comments of my own on his decision. But if you wish to lodge a complaint, I'm quite happy to listen. So? No, it's fine. The sun's going down. We should get back to Bereahard. Yeah. Let's go then. That one looks annoying. Watch out.
we're finally back. Ah, <sighs> my feet are killing me.